Among the many methods available to mathematicians are proofs, or logical arguments that begin with a premise and arrive at a conclusion by delineating facts. Writing a proof is a challenge because you have to make every piece fit in its correct order. Most geometry works around three types of proof. Paragraph proof, flowchart proof, two-column proof. Paragraphs and flowcharts can lay out the various steps well enough, but for purity and clarity, nothing beats a two-column proof. A two-column proof in geometry is one of the most reliable methods, since it compels you to back up every claim with real evidence. A two-column proof uses a table to present a logical argument and assigns each column to do one job, and then the two columns work in lockstep to take a reader from premise to conclusion. The structure of a two-column proof must follow four basic precepts. The first or left column has only mathematical statements like quadrilateral PINK is a parallelogram or side PI equals side NK. The second or right column has only reasons supporting the validity of those mathematical statements like given or if the opposite sides in a quadrilateral are the same length, then the figure is a parallelogram. Every logical ordered step is numbered in both columns, so step one on the left is supported by step one on the right. You end when you have proved your concept. A two column proof is only a structure, like a skeleton. You must have five tools handy to work your way from premise to conclusion. Givens state what is given to you and the reader in the diagram or setup of the problem. A diagram. The diagram will clarify what the geometric figure is. If no diagram is provided, draw one. Foundational knowledge. You must have a deep understanding of theorems and postulates so you can apply them quickly and logically. Without understanding definitions, vocabulary, and relationships among geometric figures, you cannot move from argument to argument. Reasoning and thinking skills. This is no royal road. You may start out, run into a mental wall, and have to start again. Thinking logically is a learned and difficult skill, so be patient and give yourself thinking time. Order. Two column proofs proceed from one idea to the next in a logical, clear, and concise way, reaching a conclusion and then stopping. You can write a two column proof by drawing a horizontal line at the top of a sheet of paper and a vertical line down the middle. Label the left side statement and the right side reason. Say you are asked to prove the isosceles triangle theorem, which states that if two sides of a triangle are congruent, their opposite angles are congruent. You will be given some information, like triangle WHZ has side HW congruent to side HZ, making it an isosceles triangle. You are asked to prove angle W is congruent to angle Z. Your two column proof would look like this. Take a few seconds to review the two column proof. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time. This was a five-step proof. Most geometry proofs can be done in fewer than 10 steps. If you find yourself going past, say, seven or eight steps, you may be going down an inefficient or wrong path. One strategy for working through a two-column proof is to first consider the end. What is it you are asked to prove? Without considering a numbered item, put that down as the statement for the last position. Consider the reason for that statement. What would you need to prove that? Another important detail is to draw a diagram or picture that exactly matches the given information. See what else is revealed by the given information like complementary or supplementary angles, right angles you may not have noticed, or equalities of angles or sides. Keep your reasons handy. 
especially if you have not memorized a huge collection of axioms and theorems. These can be postulates, other theorems, definitions, or properties. Remember, properties can go from beyond geometry too, like properties of equality. Be willing to rearrange order. Do not get so attached to your proof that you persist in trying to make it work if it has led you down a blind path. Start simple. If you are struggling with a complex proof of a tough problem, see if you can find smaller, more easily provable chunks within it. The surest way to get better at two-column proofs is to practice writing them. Once you are really confident in your ability to write two-column proofs, you can show off a bit by writing QED at the end, which is the abbreviation for the Latin phrase quad erat demonstrandum, that which has been demonstrated. It signals to your mathematics teacher and others that you were finished. You have completed the proof.